What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I wanna to bring you guys a quick video on my favorite AMOLED or Dark Themes apps for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. These are third party apps that are gonna improve the experience on the phone. They're ones that I use in my daily life and they also happen to have a dark theme. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick summary of what each app does. A lot of them are self-explanatory. I've talked about them in the past. I will link them all in the description if you wanna check them out. All of these can modify between dark and light themes by going in the settings menu. Uh, if you have a question about how to do it for a particular app, drop me a comment below and be happy to help. The first one I wanna talk about is Feedly. Feedly is an app that basically allows you to aggregate all of your news. You can choose the sources that you wanna get your news from here on the side. You can see here that I get a whole bunch of Android news so I can keep on the, up on the daily stories. You can flick through the stories just by going up in a vertical scroll, scroll through all your stories right here. This is a true black theme which looks beautiful on the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. I'm a huge fan of it. Feedly is a very easy way to get information about whatever it is that you care about on a daily basis. The next one is Pocket. Pocket is another way to aggregate the information that you read off of the internet. You can save stories from Google Chrome. You can also have things like your Twitter feed show up here. So I use if this then that to actually add the tweets that I like from Twitter to my Pocket feed so later I can revisit them in case there's something that I liked that I wanna come back to for a story, for a video, etc. Everything shows up here, has a nice dark theme. You can of course tweak again the settings. You can also choose what it is that you want to actually add to Pocket here on the pullout menu. If you do go for premium here, you do get ad free, you get a permanent library of your stories, search, and you also get suggested tags to add to your overall aggregator story. I highly recommend Pocket. If you are someone who likes to read a lot of stuff later in offline mode, it'll definitely make that easier for you, whether it be things from Chrome, whether it be things from social media, etc. The next one I've talked about many times before, that's Pocket Cast, which is in my opinion, the hands down best podcast app on Android. It does have a dark theme. This is not a true AMOLED theme. You can see it's a little bit gray, not entirely black. It does a great job of aggregating your podcast. As you can see right there, I have all my podcasts in here. I listen to a whole lot of tech podcasts. Pocket Cast is a nice way to do that and it looks really nice in the Galaxy S8. The next one is Solid Explorer, which I think is a very important app to have not even for just the theme, but also the functionality. The file manager on the Samsung Galaxy S8 is not that great in my opinion. Also ES File Explorer, which is one of the most popular file explorer apps on Android, is these days just ridden with spyware inside their app. I would highly recommend switching if you're on ES File Explorer to Solid Explorer. It looks super slick. You can add all of your cloud services within here as well. In addition to changing the theme, to uh, True Black, the AMOLED theme. You can also modify the primary and secondary color, the accent color, choose your icon set, do a lot of cool stuff. They do have a pro option, which I have enabled here, but it's a really cool app if you're into theming your phone. You can keep your Explore app consistent with the rest of the phone. Uh, the next one is Textra. It's a very simple app. It's a text messaging replacement for the stock app. I don't really like Samsung messages. It does have a dark theme. You can also customize a whole lot of other cool stuff inside the settings, like how you handle MMS, uh, how you do quick compose, uh, voice memos, all this kind of cool stuff. Texture is a great app. I highly recommend trying a third-party messaging app if you haven't before, especially if you're new to Android. It's one of the best things about Android. Plus it has this slick dark theme, which again looks really, really nice. The next app is Monospace. Monospace is a great note-taking app and can actually be used in place of something like Google Keep. I've tried using it in the past. The only thing that I don't like is you actually have to pay for the pro mode in order to sync this with your Google Drive. It's one of the reasons that I went back to using Google Keep. I may give it a try, but again, one thing I really like is it has this true black mode, which looks beautiful. You can still take notes and keep them organized here in a nice simple way without even paying for the pro mode. Of course, if you wanna do that sort of syncing with your Google account, you will have to pay. It's four bucks. It's a little expensive in my opinion because you can do similar things in Google Keep, but it is a very nice materially designed app. The next app is Simpler Contacts and Dialer. This is an app that I actually used for quite a while back in the day before Samsung improved their overall experience in the phone and dialer app. One thing I like about it is that you actually have everything nice and organized. It also does a good job of having a set of tools that you can use like backing up your contacts, photos, you can get rid of duplicates. Uh, you can also clean up and remove unnecessary contacts like from businesses, et cetera, that you no longer use. And of course, as I mentioned, for all of these apps, it has a nice dark theme. Go into style, you can change this dark mode to black, and then it looks really slick on the Galaxy S8 in addition to having all those other features. 
Weather Timeline is a very popular weather app for Android. It has a beautiful card-like display. You can actually pull the weather information from wherever you like. Uh, I have Dark Sky installed on my phone as well, and I find Dark Sky to be one of the most accurate weather services for Android. So I like to use the actual UI of Weather Timeline along with Dark Sky for the actual weather. You can see here in the settings, you can change the appearance to be dark or light if you want. And this also has an Android Wear app. For those of you who are into that, you guys know I love smartwatches, so that's another good reason to pick up this app. Flamingo is my Twitter client of choice. There's quite a few Twitter clients out there that have dark themes. Uh, Phoenix is another one. If you're interested in an alternative, I will drop both of the links below. I love the AMOLED theme on Flamingo. It makes everything in the app very readable. But in addition to this theme, there's actually a number of themes in here that are preset that have dark options. The Flamingo theme itself has a pink with a rather dark background. This one is a true OLED black, as you can see. So the blackest that you're gonna get, which I think looks the best in the Galaxy S8. And then finally, uh, Gboard, which is Google's keyboard app. I recommended one of my previous videos. You can change the theme here. And if you go into the preset colors, there is a true AMOLED black theme. It's the one that's right there. So this is the AMOLED black theme. You can put keyboarders on there. You can also change all the other sort of options like the spacing, the size that you can on Gboard otherwise, in addition to getting this great dark theme. And as you guys have probably seen, the entire time I've been doing the video, I have been using that theme on my keyboard. It looks very nice when you pull it up. One thing that does annoy me, annoy me about the Galaxy S8 is you can see at the bottom, the color of the nav bar, even though I have it set to black in the settings, actually changes back to white when you're using this app with the keyboard. And I'm not sure why that is. I'm gonna work on trying to fix that. If anyone has any ideas, let me know in the comments below. All right guys, so those are 10 really good apps that have dark or AMOLED themes for the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus. Drop me a comment below if you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.